It's your local traffic when you come and move to Morecambe. Yeah, 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 I'm just, uh, I'm just, just out filming. I'll be, I'll be home in a bit. What time is it? No, 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 I'll be about an hour. Uh, I'll see you in a bit. Bye. Oh, I didn't see you there. It's Thomas Edward. I brought you down to uh, Morecambe again. We are doing a lot of Morecambe filming recently. And uh, today I've, uh, we're just outside uh, Morecambe Station. Um, no trains at the moment. I was hoping to maybe see some last pacer action, but I think they've all moved on. But anyway, this is this is Morecambe Station. If you didn't already know, if you're local, you probably know. And but if you're not, this is what it what it is now. And uh, but this isn't the the first station to be in Morecambe. Uh, this this was uh, built in 1994. After 12 weeks of uh, building, they got it back up and running, and it was um, it was replacement for a promenade station. What's just behind you? But so, but I should tell you what I'm doing today is we're going to talk all about stations. Um, so I'm going to talk about this day. Well, this we're starting off here, but it's not really that important. This station, it was just a replacement. Uh, we're going to talk about Promenade Station, uh, Northumberland Station, Euston Station, Stone Jetty Station. There's the Wooden Pier Station. It's quite a few. Oh, uh, yeah, and Euston Road up the road. Um, and uh, so yeah. We're starting here at the new station. So the image on screen at the moment on Google Maps satellite, um, you can see a red circle um, at the railway station in Morecambe. That's where I'm stood right now. Uh, there is two stations in Morecambe, one at Bear Lane, what's at the east end of um, the promenade near a Happy Mount Park. But we'll do that on another video. Today I'm sort of concentrating around this area. So. Where I'm stood there, Central Drive Road comes up the middle from the promenade, uh, Northumberland Street there, what goes up to the promenade near Winter Gardens. I'm, I'm near where the uh, 2020 shut this year, uh, Frank and Benny's used to be, uh, Morrison's is near me, Festival Market, um, and then a bit further up the road is uh, Morecambe Library. Um, so yeah, that's where I am now. So you can see it's a, it's a line and a loop and I once, a few about 10 years back, I watched a, a Class 55 Doubt it coming here on a, a rail tour and then I think it got, I, it might have run round or it was top and tailing with like a 47 or something on the back and um, so we watched it coming here and then we watched it go to Heesham uh, uh, Docks and it went in there. So I'm just talking there about uh, Class 55 going to Heesham. Uh, but so I'll just explain about where the lines go from where I'm stood. So if you see the red line, that line goes all the way up to the West Coast Main Line. And then if you see the white line near Travers Perkins, that goes down to Heesham Docks. So the Delta would have come in from West Coast Main Line into the station and then the Class 47 on the back pulled it round that curve that goes to Heesham. Um, so yeah, so this is the station, you know, it's a line and it's got, it's got a head shunt there, just a bay platform. So this, pla this station here was built in 1994 after 12, uh, 12 weeks of uh, being built, um, so 12 weeks out of service. And this line's always been here, but it would eventually, at the end up there, if you turn around, so it just goes some buffer stops with a red light, so it actually go through there and into Morrison's car park. Um, and in Morrison's car park, there's, I'm going to show you in the map, but there was a turntable and lots of sidings and stuff. But behind it, over there, behind the station, is Frank and Benny's what's dust shut. 2020, it's dust shut, gone bankrupt, it's all derelict. And behind it, you won't be able to see, but behind it is all the car parks and um, uh, festival market and the uh, platform, what's uh, the old promenade station. And uh, that station is what we're probably going to talk about a lot in today, and it's one of the biggest stations in Morecambe. So in like the early 1900s, Morecambe was booming in, in tour tourism and holiday makers, you know, on Bank Holiday and Wakes Weeks, they would all come flock to Morecambe to come on holiday. 
Uh, so they needed a bigger station. So uh, they had Northumberland station, what I'm going to show you where it roughly was in a minute. Uh, but it wasn't big enough. Uh, so they had, but they also had Euston station as well, what was more central, what was down there. But because people were coming to the seaside, and also they weren't just coming to the seaside here, they were either getting on boats and going to Our Man, or freight was coming in, it was going to Barrow and Island, so because it was, it was a harbour as well. So I'm uh, on Rail Maps Online, where, the, where it's a website with all the old railways around the country. So. I've got it up on the stone jetty, so the stone jetty is at the back of the Midlands Hotel, a uh, bit where it's it's near where the old swimming pool used to be, and now is near the lifeboat. And the stone jetty now is a walkway where fishermen go and people have a nice time, and it's a sea defence now. But many many moons ago, it was um, it was a working jetty with big ships coming in it and there was as you can see see the red circle what I've highlighted uh, there's a line what comes down from Festival Market what's now what used to be the old promenade station the line comes down onto the jetty and it was for goods and passengers to get on ferries and goods to get on ships to go across sea to Ireland up to Scotland Barrow uh, it's a big link So the uh, stone jetty was built in 1853 as a railway terminus, so where all the boats to go, to go wherever they were going. So there you go, you can see what it looks like today in 2020. It's all boarded up now and a bit, looks a bit, a bit derelict in a way. It's a shame, I think it used to have a calf in it at one point, but not at the moment, with current climates. And at the back you can see flashing there is the, the lighthouse, it's still working, you know, cause it's, it's quite a big point in walking, it points out quite a long way. So yeah, so it, it's, it's still there because it's grade 2 listed. Um, so they can't get rid of it. It'd be nice, uh, I reckon, because the jetty's long enough and it's wide enough. You could get a, I don't know, a 15 inch narrow gauge railway what would go from, from up the prom or, I don't know. Um, yeah, I could go up the prom or it could start at the back of the Midland Hotel and you could go down the, the stone jetty to the bottom and use that original build, platform building as a, a narrow gauge uh, building. But anyway, we're getting sidetracked here. So that was where the, the uh, uh, what do you call it, the trains would come in there and then they'd unload the goods or the passengers and get on the boats. Um, now I have got a picture here of what it used to look like in its heyday. You can't. You can hardly. It's you no. Know, it's totally different. Cat of uh, fish, really. You know, it's um, it's totally different. So you can see there. There's like, wow, look at those big steamboats. There's a big steamboat docks just off the uh, platform, a building there, and then there's lots of little ones behind it. So you can see all. There's. I think there's two lines on there. One comes down to its platform station, and another line comes down the side of that boat. And then on the other side there, there's another pier, and that's the wooden pier. And now there was a line on there, as you saw in probably that map what I showed you before, there was a line that went into the middle of the sea, and that was because of the wooden pier. And you can just see an old Midland hotel in the background there looking a lot different. And there's some, where the, what isn't now, it's just grass, where the swimming pool used to be in the lifeboat places now, there's some uh, big work buildings, you know, harbour buildings with lots of guys working away you know they don't they don't build them how they used to you know and it's that, that industry is uh, soon it is uh, unfortunately disappeared uh, but it's disappeared for a reason because uh, Morecambe because it's an estuary when the tide's in it's in but when it's out it's out and the sand comes back so you can't get boats in all the time so that's what I think it was. I think I'm right with him saying that. So when the, you know, the, there was only a certain time limit, you could get stuff from boats and out, back out to sea. So I think the, uh, as industry was moving on, it was getting bigger and bigger and bigger. Boats were getting bigger and goods were getting bigger. The uh, went to Hesham and widened and deepened uh, Hesham um, Harbour. So it was made so when the tide was out, there was still water in the harbour to have boats going in and out. 
and obviously that was a success and Hisham now is still a big busy port for big ships and uh, ferries so uh, that's where I think it went for Morecambe I mean, they couldn't really sustain that amount of goods going in because they were limited with the tide so yeah that's a nice picture that I was I was worried for a bit I couldn't, I couldn't find any pictures and then that popped up I was like yes that's brilliant that so you can see what's going on I'd like to just add on the end of this um, section uh, that Morecambe Harbour didn't just lose its like work and trade to Hesham Harbour it also lost initially its work to the furnace line what went uh, along the coast, Overstone to Barrow. Um, so that's an initial thing where it did lose its work because originally Morecambe Harbour was made so goods would come by train, get on the boats and go to Barrow across the bay. Uh, but when they put the railway in to Barrow, then it was another way of getting uh, goods there. It's a bit like today, you know, canals got replaced by motorways and etc etc it's the same sort of thing um so also um so they didn't really sort of the workload got a bit less and less and less and then he he shim came and that sort of ended that so i'd like to just add that in the end and also what you're looking at here on screen as i as i talk is um copper knob what was that a furnace line engine quite a famous engine um for a long time barrow had it on display at the station into the Second World War, and it, it actually got it actually got bombed in the Second World War, and it's got it's got shrapnel in the boiler. You can see all the dings where stuff hit it, um, and obviously it's called copper up because the um, the firebox and the boiler is all made of copper. Uh, and you can probably see in that photo there there is actually shrapnel um, dents uh, from uh, from the Second World War. I've actually seen this engine at uh, York uh, National Railway Museum. A lovely engine. Look at all that brass work around the uh, wheels. Really nice. Got no cab, but just a very nice. And it's in the furnace colours as well. That sort of orangey, browny colour. A bit like iron ore colour. It's a really nice engine. So yeah, I'd just like to add that on the end of that section. Really. So you you know it's not just Asian what took the work. It was also furnace line what came 1850s something like that. It sort of got built and then it lost the work from there. So behind me is uh, the main station where I've just been, what's well, the station today, and uh, as you can see from me it's just a, it's just a shelter, and uh, you know, you, where well, you go and sit, but it's all corn, it's all shut off from current, current climate, so you can't sit in it, so in a cold day today you've got to sit on the station, but anyway that's your new station, but behind us, and what you're watching and standing on now, is we stood on the old Northumberland station, that's behind his Northumberland road, goes from this roundabout and goes down to the you know the promenade. So here, on this bit of land here, I'll show you on the map so you understand, but on here was uh, Northumberland Station. And um Right, on screen now is a satellite image 2020. Uh, you can see Morecambe Skate Park and you can see the bus station on Central Drive and across the road from me is the, the station we know today from Morecambe. Um, so that red circle there is roughly where North London Street Station was, or Midland Station as it was known. Um, so if we put that red circle on this map, what I'm showing you now, this is from uh, Rail Maps Online, where you, what shows old railways, disused lines and where routes were, and you can overlay them on top of modern day maps like I've done here. So that red circle, you can see there's a line in it. Now, I'm a bit skeptical on that line because if you look at this map here, what's an old OS map, if you look at Midland Station there and Northumberland Street's up from it, if you see Midland Station, the line actually goes straight through it and goes on towards either up to the Stone Jetty or it goes into um, where Morrison's is today because that was the electric line. Um, so a bit skeptical really it's a bit of a odd one if you look if we go back 
see the old line, it just stops there, stops dead. Maybe because they built promenade station, the, the diagram's got changed around, there's actually no record of where they went. But what's interesting is if you look in the telephone exchange, or at the back of it, there's a line that goes from the telephone exchange into that car park. And if you look on this image, the old OS map, just look very closely. I know it's a bit blurry, I've tried my best to blow it up. Midland Station, just to the right of it, there's a line that goes either along a platform or along a, a goods, a goods like yard or shed. And I think that's where the car park is. It sort of makes sense, but it's all a bit out of kilter. It's not quite, if you look at the rail maps online, it's not quite there really. It seems a bit, the lines are too far, but I think after, as time goes on, you lose where the lines actually rent, went. And when you're trying to make, make it up to a, a new map, it's very difficult to get the right, uh, the right um, sort of route. So it's a bit vague, but you get the idea that's where Middleton, uh, Midland Station or Northumberland Street Station was. And you can just see, we'll, we'll touch on it a lot later today, if you look back on the old OS map, um, up where the library is now in town, there was a gas works and lines actually went into there. Um, but we'll touch on that in a much future video. So yeah, that's where Northumberland Street Station was. And this picture here is what the station looked like, with a big oval roof, all, all cast iron, um, with two platforms and it's got two lines through it. It's really nice, that is. And uh, the station was... It, I don't know if this is true, but it probably is. It was uh, built 1873, and it, I know for certain it was shut 1907, because in 1907, the same year, they built Promenade Station. But it just seems a bit like it wasn't open that long for a station, you know, 1873 to 1907. It's not a lot of years, that. What's that? Uh, 10, 20, 30 years, nearly 30 years quite a short period for a station to, you know, be built. There is something, I don't know if it's true this, do correct me if I'm wrong, but I read somewhere that the, the station, brick by brick, when it shut, um, brick by brick, the built promenade station with the same bricks. And it makes sense because why, why waste materials when you can reuse it? You know, everyone's into recycling these days, but these lads back then, they were doing the modern day thing. Um, but I don't know how true that is, but that's what I've read. Uh, so yeah, that's Northumberland Station. Right, so that's the end of the video. Um, now, originally I filmed all of this and uh, was going to edit it into a massive long video. But for YouTube and for you, the audience, it gets a bit boring. You need it quick, snappy, showbiz, you know. And the best way of doing that is putting it in parts. So this is going to be part one of probably quite a lot of parts in the Lost, uh, lost Railways of Morecambe. Um, so the next part will be about Euston Station and Promenade Station. And then from on there we'll go on to Bear Lane. We'll do the Lost um, Poulton Lane uh, Station. Um, and we'll do lots of stuff I want to talk about. The electric line what went into Morecambe Lancaster um, talk about Hesham lots of lots of all around that area Lancaster Morecambe Hesham I'm going to talk lots about and there's going to be lots of different parts so this is part one I hope you've enjoyed it and there's probably bits you have missed or you want to point out I've got wrong so yeah let put your comment below be nice though be nice um, so yeah, I hope you've enjoyed that. I'm getting into me uh, local uh, history videos now, I like in doing uh, especially railway stuff because I like railways. And but me uh, the other the only the other day we had the biggest hitted uh, video at over 400 views of uh, Happy Mount Park and Morecambe. So Morecambe seems to be a, a good area, and because it's family history as well. I, you know, my dad's side's from around there, and all my. Um, all my gene banks around there, it seems right to for me to do videos there. So it's great. I love going in and telling history, really. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed it. Um, leave a comment, like I just said. Um, and also, give us a subscribe because I want to get up to 100 by Christmas. 
And if it doesn't happen by Christmas, I want it by New Year. I want a hundred, you know, the big one double zero, one hundred, so we can get up. And then the next big goal will be a thousand. So uh, let's let's do that. But for now, let's try and get up to a hundred. Uh, and then also remember to click that big bell.